America's first step towards world power was in the mid 1800s when we started focusing more on more and more on expanding its trade and acquiring new territories. So in 1853, Command Commander Matthew Perry sold a fleet of warships into Tokyo Bay, Japan, to face them to open its ports <coughs> to the new world. I mean the the world through his Congress. He was clever. I can't even read your handwriting. Oh my God. Through his cunningness, he was cleverly able to convince them to do so. Then, in 1867, Secretary of State William Seward purchased Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million. Although America criticized him for his claim calling it Seward's Folly and Seward's Ice Box, Alaska proved to be rich in resources and almost doubled our country's size. It was also a key milestone in America's road to power. Our interest our interest then seemed to grow towards Latin America. U.S. businessmen saw it as a place to expand their trade and investments. <laughs> then in 1897, we annexed Hawaii to the United States. Causes of the Spanish-American War, the United States had about $50 million invested into Cuba. The Yellow Press, Battleship Maine, blows up dead long letter in the mistreatment of Cubans. The United States defeated the Spanish Navy while the Philippines defeated the Spanish Army for freedom from Spain. The United States also captured Cuban soldiers when they landed in Guantanamo Bay. Meanwhile, when the U.S. forces occupied the islands of Puerto Rico, the fighting had ended. Secretary of State John Bay referred to the conflict with Spoon, a, a splendid little war because of the ease and thoroughness. That's a wrap.